Now I'll bet you're here for one of two reasons. Either you're currently struggling with your puppy having accidents in your home and it's super frustrating, I can totally appreciate that, or you've just become or you're about to become a new puppy owner and it's time to do your puppy training homework. In both cases, I'm about to give you five puppy house training tips that you need to know and by following the steps mentioned in this video, you're gonna save a bunch of time and a fortune in cleaning products. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Here in our training facility, we help more than 500 dog owners every single week who are just like you to overcome their dog training challenges. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. We get so many great questions on our puppy potty training video and I went through a bunch of them to see the most common mistakes and the most common comments. Today I want you to take out your notepad and write these five things down because if you're still struggling with your puppy having accidents in your home, it's likely that you're overlooking one of these steps and that may be the reason your puppy's so confused about the process. So let's get started. Now a large number of people who are struggling with their puppy house training are using pee pads. And these pads often create a lot of confusion for puppies and if you can avoid using them do so. But if there's some reason that you need to use the puppy pads all of these same tips will apply to you. Just replace the word going outside with uh, taking your puppy to the pad. Now there are a few times that you need to take your puppy outside because they're more likely to have to go and being proactive about this will not only be a good way to avoid accidents in your home but it's a great way to help your puppy to associate being with this in, inside this location with the relief of going pee or poop and it's a much better association than having that same relieving feeling in your living room or in your kitchen. Those times are before they go into their crate, as soon as they come out of their crate, after a meal, after a play session, and if your puppy has been in their crate or under your supervision and you think to yourself, hmm, the puppy hasn't peed in a while, you should take them outside. You should really have some sort of schedule for your puppy to go potty and maybe that's every couple of hours for the first week and you can start to extend that time over the next couple of weeks as long as they're going to be, as long as they're successful. But you're going to find that your puppy's success or failure will dictate that amount of time and every puppy is just a little bit different. Using a crate or a limited space area for your puppy when you can't supervise them is a really important way to not only keep them safe, but it's going to teach them that they have to hold their bladder a little. Using an appropriately sized crate or area is going to be really important though. We talked a lot about crate sizing in a recent video, I'll link the description in the description below. But to give you the abbreviated version, there needs to be enough room for your puppy to stand up, turn around, lie down and stretch out comfortably. If your crate or the space has too much more room than that, your puppy's likely to be able to pee in one corner of that area and then continue snoozing in the dry areas or in the other corner. Your puppy needs to feel like there's some sort of consequence for choosing to pee or poop in there and that way they'll feel like they have to hold it a little and they'll start to build some more longevity into how long they go between their outdoor sessions. Now to be a responsible puppy owner you need to keep tabs on how long it's been since your puppy was out last and it's always a good idea to have your puppy's crate within earshot when you're working on house training that way you'll start to hear them stir a little bit if they feel the need to go outside. Use a leash when you take your puppy out to go potty. Puppies are easily distracted and sometimes it's adorable, but it can also distract your puppy away from the fact that they need to go. When you go outside with your puppy, you're all business. Take them to a safe spot with the least amount of distractions. Stand still and be boring. Keep a close eye on your puppy for, your, for them to get distracted. If a leaf blows by or if they find an interesting stick on the ground, that may be the reason that you need to use your leash. Direct them away from these distractions so that they can sort of reset. When you limit the amount of area that your puppy can investigate, that area becomes a lot less interesting and you're more likely to see your puppy pick a spot to relieve themselves. If you've been out there for several minutes and your puppy still hasn't gone, head back inside, immediately place your puppy into their crate. Keep a close eye on them. In the next couple of minutes, you're gonna head back out to that spot and try again. If you feel like your puppy just can't go in whatever location you've picked, it's, it's worth asking yourself a couple of questions. Are there too many distractions in the area? Sometimes noises or motion can make it difficult for your puppy to feel comfortable to stop everything and go pee. If that's the case, see if there's a quieter spot that you can take your puppy so that they can feel more comfortable and be less distracted. When your puppy does go pee or poop in that location that you've chosen, praise them. Use, you know, good boy, good girl. Whatever language you want to use to let them know that they're making a great choice, but do not feed them. They don't need a treat. I've heard so many people uh, talk about how after they've rewarded their puppy with food, their puppy's asking to go outside more often, or some puppies will go out and phantom pee where they'll basically squat without even going. 
what those people have done is captured a behavior, which is great for trick training, but it can be a real challenge if your puppy goes out, phantom pees, and then you go back inside with your puppy uh, having a full bladder. The sensation of relief from going pee or poop is reward enough for your puppy. Just praise them when they're going potty in the right location. Now, good supervision is going to change everything for your puppy house training. We often talk about quality time out of the crate rather than the quantity of time. And that's precisely when supervision is going to be key. Now, if you're struggling with puppy potty training, you must keep a close eye on your puppy every moment they're out of their crate. If you've just brought them back inside, even if they've just gone pee and you're still struggling with puppy potty training, don't let them out of, their, out of your sight. An important part of the learning process for your puppy is learning what they aren't allowed to do. When they have an accident in your home, it can be really frustrating, but it's a teaching moment and it's actually really important. While you're supervising your puppy, if they start to have an accident, you need to mark that behavior. Mark that moment in time using your voice. Use something abrupt like ah ah or hey. For some puppies, maybe even clapping your hands is appropriate. Now this needs to be done in the moment. So if your puppy sneaks away and has an accident, there's no reasonable or fair way to train through that. Chalk it up as a loss and be more prepared next time. They need to know that in that moment that precisely this behavior is not allowed. Some puppies will stop going at the moment you interrupt them. And if that's the case, then you can take your puppy right outside so that they can finish going. When you're out there, you can praise your puppy when they start going again. Let them know that while going pee inside is not allowed, going in this spot outside will get them some praise. With good supervision, you're even likely to start noticing that your puppy is signaling that they need to go outside. Some of the, the subtle signs that your puppy gives you that it's time to go out. This takes a keen eye, but I bet some of you are going to notice it. And if you're really being a great supervisor for your puppy, that's going to happen more quickly. But remember that supervision time is all about engagement and quality time outside of your puppy's crate with you and them alone. We've actually got a great video with some fun exercises that you can do with your puppy while they're out of their crate that'll burn off energy and they have nothing to do with going for a walk. So I'll list that for you to check out in the description below. Location, location, location. I get lots of comments from people who tell me that their puppy is constantly peeing on their bed. Or every time their puppy goes into the living room, they have an accident on the floor. It's, it's worth your time and effort to set your puppy up to be successful by not allowing them access to these locations if they're constantly having accidents in there. Use some baby gates to set up an area where they're less likely to have an accident. Or even better yet, exercise that great supervision we just talked about. Your puppy needs to earn some of these freedoms. If they continue to pee on their bed, or even your bed, which uh, someone recently asked a question about, then don't set them up to fail by giving them access to these places or things. But if they do go to these places and they make those mistakes with great supervision, you'll be there to give them the right information and train through it. You know, you're, you're working your butt off here trying to help your puppy to be right and to be a great leader for them. You want to do everything that you can to help them to make good choices. And if you're clear, consistent and fair, you're a lot more likely to be successful with your training. Now, tackling puppy potty training is just one element of your puppy training, but if you're looking for a puppy training game plan, make sure you click that card right there. It's your puppy training schedule by age. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.